Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is all about gliding, engine cutoff, no engine power going to your Cessna 172. We're going to talk about gliding, using our best glide speed and profile, hopefully to bring our aircraft down safely. We're going to take it one step further than you can with a real aircraft. We're going to bring our Cessna all the way down to earth using our best glide speed and profile and hopefully landing safely on a flat piece of ground or grass. So fingers crossed. Okay, let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so I'm cruising above England, Middle England, not far from Birmingham, in fact, at 4,000 feet in my Cessna 172. Now, I just want to explain a bit of the math and principles of gliding before we actually do it. So, I'm just going to put a chart up on screen for you there by the FAA. It's a top line there. You can see the Cessna 172. It'll be the same for the 152. The best gliding speed, best glide speed as you can see there, is 65 knots. And you should be able to find that information in your POH, your Pilot's Operation Handbook, as well. So that's the speed we're going to try and trim to when we simulate an engine cutout in our Cessna 172. Now, because we're over England, there's lots of airports around us. Ideally, you want to be aiming towards an airfield or air airport in this case i'm going to try and land i'm going to try and pretend that we're not anywhere near any airports as you can see there on my right g1000 lots of airports and airfields around us i'm going to pretend that we're not anywhere near any airfield and we're going to have to land basically hopefully not crash land on a field or flat piece of land thankfully over england and i would recommend that if you're going to try this try this over somewhere like england well there's well, where there's no mountains away from mountains and undulating land where there's lots of flat fields and goodness knows what so that's what we're going to do now the rule of thumb is that for every thousand feet that you'll be descending if you cut your engine power you will be descending you'll be trimming for 65 knots but you will be descending trust me on that every thousand feet you'll be traveling or covering 1.5 miles that's the rule of thumb, it's not very scientific. If you have some kind of wind, I've got flow installed, so I'll show you. I've got it on few clouds. There is a wind to the west there, it looks like, at four knots. If you've got a headwind or wind behind you, that may uh, that range may increase or decrease, and depending on the weight of your aircraft as well. So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut engine power and trim for 65 knots so our best glide speed and we will be descending okay so let's do that now now one thing i want to show you here is that on my assistant options under assistant options failure and damage i've got crash damage and engine stress enabled engine stress damage enabled as you can see there Icing effect visual only, but don't worry about that. We shouldn't get any icing here. So we're at 4,000 feet. Let's first turn our autopilot off. Seems like we're trimmed. Let's just make sure. Put my Get my trim under control just to keep us at 4,000 feet. And keep my aircraft straight and level there. Just before I decrease my throttle, that will do. Okay, I'm going to pull my throttle back on my physical throttle all the way back. Now, if I was in a real aircraft, I could see I'm nose diving towards the earth. I'm trimming up, thinking, what's going on here? Turning switches, turning my ignition switch, nothing's happening. Pushing, pulling my levers. I can't get any results, can't get any power to that engine. Okay, look, I'm going to trim. It's one of the principles I've learnt when I was flying an aircraft. I'm just saying this hypothetically, chaps, by the way. <laughs> 
that I must trim up now for 85 knots, 65 knots rather. Best glide speed it looks like. I'm not going to get that power. I can figure out what's going out later, what's going on later if I get my aircraft down to earth safely. And getting it down to earth safely is not as easy as it sounds. This is an advanced technique beyond a no illusion. Now you, you would practice this. I believe if you're learning to fly during your flying lessons, so the best glide speed, but when you get to around 2,000 feet, you would put your engine power back up because you don't want to be simulating actually crashing or coming down to earth fully. As we're in a sim, we can try this. There you go, I'm just trimming. I'm not pushing, this is important, I'm not pushing or pulling my yoke forward or backwards I'm simply trimming I can take my hands off my yoke and as you can see I'm trimmed roughly to that 65 knots I'm just gonna have to trim up a little bit more but I'm just using my trim buttons on this in this case on my honeycomb XPC to get to that 65 knots which is roughly there so I'm not pushing or pulling my yoke at all. Just going to take a look at my altitude. As you can see, we're already coming below. I did say you will be descending. We're coming below 3,000 feet. Let's just get us into that 65 knots. There we go. And just keep it there. That's will do. We're in that ballpark. Now I'm looking around for fields where we can land. Thank thankfully over England there's lots of fields. There's lots of trees. So you're going to have to keep that in mind as well. Looking for a flat piece of land. In this case, well, any direction, but straight ahead of us there. Actually, to our right. And it looks like we will... When you're gliding, you're losing altitude rapidly. Do keep it in mind. And when you're turning, don't turn suddenly. Bank gradually. Or when you're banking, bank gradually. So you're not losing more altitude. I'm going to line up for this field because before you know it, we'll be down to that altitude. And I believe that looks like a good place from where I'm sitting. There's probably a few trees and things there. Now, can I reset? Thank you. <laughs> Quite sure what happened there. <laughs> by the time we're that down, at, by the time we reach that, we should be pretty much at the altitude ready to land on that field it's you descend that quickly now, as you can see my speeds around 65 knots there that's good coming below 2,000 feet will we make that field what well, time will tell there's fields in front of it and you can practice this if you're practicing probably clear skies if you're very new at this I've practiced this procedure and I've crashed probably 50% of the time. <laughs> it's not as easy as it sounds and it's only something you can really practice in a sim. Real world pilots nowadays, would you practice this whole procedure in a sim? You wouldn't practice it in, in a real aircraft, surely. I can't imagine they're going to risk you crashing. You practice the glide principles, but not the full uh, technique of actually coming down and landing. Uh, I do believe you would practice landings, though, wouldn't you? You would do a pattern around an airport in glide speed and practice that. So that's something we can revisit that part in the future. Let me know. I can revisit that in another Back to Basics video. There we go, still around 65 knots. I'm hoping we can make at least this part of the field. As you can see how quickly the aircraft descends. So where you think you might be able to land, we might be landing on this part, you know. Might well be landing on this part. It's quite nerve-wracking even in a sim, I've got to say. Keep my best glide speed there. Can we make that field ahead of us? That's where my original intent is. Probably people around me. I do have it on live uh, service. Northeast Europe, I believe. Or is it Southeast Asia at the moment? Maybe. 
from our last live stream. Whatever, they're probably thinking, what's Hoddison up to now? Uh, watch this video, you'll find out, my friends. Coming down, I'm all... I'm surveying what my aircraft is doing. Predicting where I'm going to land. I'm going to go for this field. I was pointing in real life, so I put my mouse pointer there for you so you can see where I'm going. I'm going for these fields down here. I don't think I'm going to make this. Now, I might have done. This could be my error here. But there's a field here I feel I can land in. Right here now. So I'm aiming for that. Maybe the other field now. <laughs> Very difficult to judge. Very difficult to judge, but there's a field. There we go. That's what I said originally, wasn't it? I can land. I can get my aircraft down in this field. I reckon is... I hope that's not a wall or fence. Otherwise, we'll be crashing straight into it. There's a line I can see. Get myself down here. There we go. And just flare a little bit. And try and land softly. That will do, that will do. Am I down? I'm down now. Good, and even use my rudders if necessary. Break, 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 Oh, goodness me. Well, that's one of the time I made it. I don't always make it. <laughs> well, listen, chaps, that's just the principles of gliding. Best glide speed and coming down in the sim. We can actually practice coming down and we've landed in a field, thankfully. Give it a go. More often than not, you'll probably find yourself crashing, but do keep practicing. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you soon.